Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all had a great weekend. Wasn't it just a week ago that NBC got busted for deceptively editing a 911 call and video of a police shooting in Columbus, Ohio? Well, they're at it again, which, by the way, is nothing new for NBC News, who get away with it every single time. This time, one of their hate hosts, Tiffany Cross, used a deceptively edited video clip from a Florida sheriff explaining the difference between a peaceful protest and a riot. <laughs> How crazy have things gotten that this actually has to be explained this is a riot and this will get you locked up before quick in the state of florida pay attention we've got new law and we're going to use it if you make us yes well in the america we know all too well despite that barney fife reject there it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny! The ability to peacefully protest is under the same attack as our voting rights. Did you catch that? She started off her propaganda piece by completely omitting the sheriff's explanation of what a peaceful protest is. Which you might notice is shown on the picture on the right with a black woman giving the black power sign. Like these guys are going out of their way to pander and still MSNBC feels the need to deceptively edit the video. It's pretty clear she wants the viewer to think that the sheriff was talking about that picture. That's why she then erroneously claims that the right to protest and vote are under attack. Neither claim is true. Having an ID is not an impediment to vote and the majority of black Americans agree with me. So the main thing going on here is that clearly there's a difference between rioting and protesting, but the propagandist in the Democrat state media want to muddy those waters as much as possible. Before I dig deeper into this deception, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my viewers. Did you know that collagen comes from the ancient Greek word for glue? This is because it acts as a glue between our cells and body's organs. The problem is our bodies don't produce unlimited amounts of collagen. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. This multi-collagen is a scientifically backed collection of the highest quality types of collagen our bodies need for thicker hair, more youthful skin, healthier nails, and pain-free joints. It's flavorless, odorless, and dissolves quickly. Get my favorite multi-collagen for 51% off today by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com. That's www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link below. This week, Trump acolyte Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a sweeping anti-riot law that toughens public disturbance penalties and even grants immunity to people who decide to drive their cars into protesters blocking a street. Yeah, if a mob of violent thugs are blocking your ability to travel, they're taking away your rights and are using force to essentially keep you detained. We see over and over again, these mobs are violent and threatening and almost always lead to violence. They have no right whatsoever to block traffic or keep anybody from traveling. And so I'm 100% right, the government giving people the ability to get out of those situations. I guess don't block traffic because it's not a protest. And you see what I mean here about muddying the waters? She accidentally says anti-riot law when the lower thirds deceptively claims that it's an anti-protest law as we all well know by now the leftists and their media don't really see a difference between rioting and protesting as long as the violence is being used to push their agenda well first of all i can't get over you calling him a barney fife reject i'm still <laughs> stuck there but uh People will say, well, what's the problem? As long as you don't riot, you'll be fine. But let's go back to the summer, as you already did, Tiffany, and let's remember the videos of police dressed in all black, smashing out windows and then trying to blame protesters. Let's go back to the pallets of bricks that we saw conveniently laying out on the street to tempt people into property destruction. Oh, dear God. She's seriously arguing that left-wing protesters just aren't capable of being peaceful. But no, 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 don't blame them, but rather conspiracy theories that have been debunked on NBC and other outlets. Yes, folks, we are straight up living in the world that George Orwell wrote about, and I'm not sure there's any going back. If you'd like to support my mission to expose the real threat, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.